Hey everyone, this is Bob Martin with the Nautilus Dry Docks, and we are doing an experiment today with the help of uh, Logan, my son. He's gonna be operating some radios, and uh, what we're trying to do here is to determine whether a high power 900 megahertz frequency radio will give equivalent depth for remote controlled submarine operation as the traditional 75 megahertz radio. This is the setup that we have. Logan has a uh, FreeSky 900 megahertz uh, high powered radio system in his left hand and a standard VEX six channel radio on 75 megahertz on the right there. This is my, uh, my testing unit and uh, we've got each of the receivers there, the 75 megahertz and the 900 megahertz. This is the antenna for the 75 megahertz and it will lay out quasi-flat to try and mimic this being strung out in the hull of a submarine. Uh, I've got a 9-volt battery that uh, is rigged up through these servos and these micro switches so that when Logan um, hits those switches, there we go. So the, uh, the one on the left, is that the last one that you just hit there? That was, so the yellow is 75 megahertz. So we'll do 75 again. Right, there we go. Yellow is yellow, good. All right, that makes sense. And red is red. Oh, look at that, I color coded it. Um, and the bottom here, this is the, uh, the internal uh, uh, antennas for the 900 megahertz system. There's two of them. Typically they should be in a perfect 90 degree X, but these are as close as we're gonna be able to get in these cylinders. I'm going to uh, drop this uh, in the water, um, drop it down to the bottom of the pool here uh, to a depth of about four feet. And uh, we are going to slowly increase the, uh, the distance until we run out. We'll see how they compare. Well, that was, let's just say, intensely disappointing. Uh, didn't get much footage of the actual test because it only lasted uh, about 30 seconds uh, in submerging the, uh, the test rig. Got down to a depth of about two feet and the uh, awesome FreeSky radio uh, immediately notified us that um, it lost signal with the receiver, which is kind of crappy. So, um, and that was standing right next to it. So about two feet. Originally, we were not too disheartened because if you can dive to two feet uh, reliably, um, it's still viable. But what we did uh, in the continuation of our experiment was continue to walk away, um, blipping that light to see how far we could get. And we got uh, a grand distance of something like 30 feet before we lost, raised up the, uh, the cylinder until we regained signal, went about another 10 feet. Um, ultimately, you know, eight inches, maybe six inches, if you're any reasonable distance away. So, the grand outcome of the experiment, at least this experiment, was that 900 megahertz High power radio frequencies are not suitable for remote controlled submarines with submerged antennas. So, this is bad news for the hobby because we are out of 75 megahertz radios. Um, the quest continues for a solution to keep this hobby afloat, so to speak. Signing off. For now, this is Bob Martin, the RC sub guy with the Nautilus drydocks.com. I would love to hear comments uh, about this experiment and the results. Put it down in the comments section or send me uh, an email anytime, bob at rc-sub.com. Thanks a lot, everyone. Catch you next time.